Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So we want to get uh, this morning's program started. Ms. V, you ready? It's a big day. I want to welcome everybody to the opening, the grand opening of Culture Coffee 2. Let's give a round of applause. Uh, I can't tell you how excited I am to be here today. I'm at-large council member uh, Robert White, but also a, uh, a friend and fan of uh, Veronica Cooper, who we in the neighborhood know as Miss V. Miss V is doing her thing. So we love this space. I was uh, honored when she reached out to me and, and asked if I would uh, MC this morning's uh, ceremony, and it meant a lot to me. My wife and I actually, when Culture Coffee was on Kennedy Street, my wife Christy and I said, oh, there's a coffee shop opening up in the neighborhood. We got to go. So it was a long day, but we went that night to the, uh, to the grand opening, and so now, now I'm two for two, getting to go to the grand opening uh, for, for both Culture Coffee locations. But you know, as you will see in the Lamont Riggs neighborhood, as we saw over on Kennedy Street, this is a place that from day one becomes a part of the community. In fact, it becomes the key part of the community. It was my, my office outside of home. Sometimes it was my campaign meeting office. Sometimes it was I just need to get away from, uh, from the house for a couple minutes and get a quiet cup of coffee. Uh, it, it was a meeting space for our civic associations. It was the, the place where our community had a baby shower for, uh, for, for my wife and me and, my, and our daughter. Uh, Culture Coffee and Miss V really just is a fundamental part of a community, and it's exactly what we want to see from our businesses here in the city. So, uh, Ms. V, I am so, so excited uh, to have you here today, to be here today. I remember in 2013, the grand opening of Culture Coffee, and I'm looking around now thinking, man, look what you have done. Look what you have done. <laughs> And so, you know, Ms. V doesn't just open a coffee shop. She says, she says, what more can I do? And so they open the coffee shop, fantastic coffee shop. And then you start seeing this incredible art on the wall that rotates every month. And I know that today, the artist that's up there today is Greta. Greta. There we are, the Greta. Look at this. And the, the, apparently the, the, the art grand opening is on Friday, so Friday at 6. So if you, can, if you can make it, you'll hear more about the pieces, you'll meet the artists, and I guess hear more about the artists that, that will come. That will be, uh, I think, a, a treat, and you will always see the rotation of the art. And you have uh, Brother Jay Hudson, who did the murals. And as every good politician knows, once you find somebody you can rely on, you keep using them. Because I know I saw Jay's work uh, over at Culture Coffee 1. Uh, and as soon as I walked in here, I saw how the beans were painted. I said, this, this is the same artist. Uh, so so you, you're sticking with what works, Ms. V. And that's exactly what you should be doing. Um, so I don't want to talk too much. Uh, we have a number of, uh, of uh, dignitaries here today, uh, from our mayor to our ward four council member to ANCs and civic association members. So I want to get rolling with uh, this morning's program. I want to first introduce uh, our, our city's leader, our mayor, who I know uh, often uh, just popped into Culture Coffee on Kennedy Street, and so I wouldn't be surprised if you see it just pop into here uh, from time to time. But I uh, want to bring up our mayor, Mayor Muriel Bowser. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hello, Riggs Park. How do you like this culture coffee, too? I know I like it a lot. I can't stand that I like it so much. So let's give a big round of applause to Veronica Cooper for doing it one more again, as they say. I so enjoy getting to know Veronica on Kennedy Street. Uh, and when she opened that shop on Kennedy Street, it was just what Kennedy Street needed. And that corridor has been up, it's been down, it's been in the middle, but thank God Almighty is all the way up right now. And it's because of entrepreneurs like Veronica, who took a chance, who had an idea, who put out a fantastic product, a warm environment, and invited great people uh, to join us. Uh, and that's what I think about this little location here. It's not so little, actually, this big location uh, here in Riggs Park. Now, who remembers the Tiger Market? 
Now, when I moved around here in 2000, there was a tiger market just over here. Who remembers what it used to smell like? <laughs> Not so good, right? And what I discovered was they sold more lottery tickets and beer and wine than they sold food. And that was when the little engine that is the Lamont Riggs Citizens Association, thank you Lamont Riggs, got involved and said we could do better and we would do better. And that began an odyssey of tearing down the tiger market in the, the plaza, of attracting a great development partner, of tearing down the other side, of attracting retail and fantastic new neighbors, and insisting to Walmart, if you came here, Walmart, not only would you bring a Walmart, but you would have neighborhoods serving retail, retail bays that could attract local, local folks that would come and make this block our block. Uh, now, just recently, I, uh, you know, I go to the cleaners across the street, to Riggs Park Cleaners, so I'll give them a, a plug. And I saw people going into the dog shop, the subway, the Five Guys, the Walmart, and now get, picking up a cabbie bike share on the way. And soon, and very soon, there'll be even more neighbors across the street. And that's what real neighborhood development has meant to this community. Uh, now, this community is also, they hug you tight. <laughs> they hug you tight, right, Riggs Park? So I know that just like on Kennedy Street, the neighbors here in Riggs Park and close by in North Michigan and in all of the Ward 5 neighborhoods will support you. We'll be here for all of the artists' uh, experiences, for the great coffee, the food. They will have meetings, lots of meetings uh, happen in uh, Riggs Park. But more than that, they'll be here to celebrate you. Uh, so I want to add my uh, congratulations, Veronica. I want to thank you, Council Member, for your great words. Council Member Todd, who stays laser focused on Riggs Park. Thank you, Council Member. He's so focused on small businesses, he wants a nightmare. Can you believe that? I told Todd I'm the morning mayor, the noontime mayor, and the nightmare. But that is a good idea. That is a good idea to have some, some extra help for our small and local businesses. But we also have a champion that works for our administration, and she's new to us, but not new to business. Uh, she started her own business here in D.C. called Curbside Cupcakes. Uh, and now she is the director of our small and local business office, Christy Whitfield. Say hi to everybody, Christy. <laughs> So I'm going to stop talking and um, ask Council Member White, I guess you're next, to come back up. And uh, if I have to sneak out, it's because I have to go down to Capitol Hill and scream at some of the Congress people about our taxes. Uh, but I wanted to be here first. So congratulations, Veronica. We appreciate those words from, uh, from the mayor. And I just want to say, uh, Mayor Bowser and, and uh, Council Member Todd, you all have been doing such a good job with uh, getting the, uh, the, the sidewalks and streetscape done on Kennedy Street. Now Culture Coffee moves. So you just got to make sure that everybody, everything stays, uh, stays the same over here. But this is a brand new bill, so I think they're, they're looking good. Uh, next, I want to bring up uh, my friend and, and colleague, uh, Ward 4. I know he's proud to still have culture coffee in the ward. Council Member Brandon Todd. Uh, thank you very much, Council Member, and welcome Mayor Bowser, uh, Euchenna Evans, who leads the Lamont Riggs Citizens Association, uh, and to you, Miss V. Congratulations. Uh, it's not every day that you can open a new business anywhere, but it's not every day that you can open another location in a brand new, fantastic building uh, like the one right here. So congratulations. Uh, and as Mayor Bowser said, the Riggs Park community is going to to embrace you. Uh, everything about this community uh, is loving, and they've been, most of the people who live here have been here five, six, some even seven decades. And so I know that they're going to make you feel right at home. They're going to buy lots of coffee, have lots of meetings. 
Uh, and so we're really just thrilled to uh, support this corridor. Uh, as Council Member White said, you look out out onto uh, Riggs Road and you see new sidewalks, you see new trees planted, and you see lots of investment uh, right here in this community. So congratulations. We're delighted uh, to keep you in Ward 4, and we'll keep buying coffee from you. Congratulations. Thank you, Council Member Todd. Uh, now, then, you, you, you did hear about uh, the Riggs Park uh, community, Lamont Riggs and Riggs Park communities uh, here. And so I want you to uh, hear from a couple of the uh, neighbors. Uh, Yushina Evans has been mentioned a couple times, and I know she's going to hit you up for some meeting space, Ms. V. So uh, here to speak is the president of the Lamont Riggs Association, Yushina Evans. Good morning. My name is Yushena Evans. I am the president of the Lamond Rick Citizens Association. And on behalf of the residents of this wonderful community, Ms. B, I would just like to say we are so excited yes. for this day, for the opening of Culture Coffee 2. I'd like to recognize our wonderful mayor, Muriel Bowser, at-large council member Robert White, Ward 4 council member Brandon Todd, um, our development partner, JBG Smith, as well as the members of the Lamond Ricks Development Task Force who are here today. <laughs> and Mayor Bowser, Councilmember Todd, you have been with us for over a decade now, I believe, in this fight for development for this community, and it is really exciting to see it come to fruition. You have been our strong advocates and champions for so long, and so we just want to say thank you to the both of you as well. Um, and we are really excited about this space because we feel like it's the missing piece for the Riggs Park neighborhood. We know that this will be that third place, that gathering place for community members. We know it will be welcoming for everyone from toddlers to teens to middle-aged folks to our beloved seniors. We know we can come here for poetry, music, art, for a cup of coffee with family and friends. And so we would just like to say, Ms. V, welcome to Rick's Park. Right. Welcome to the neighborhood. We are so glad that she created this intentional space for community, culture, and coffee. Thank you. Thank you, Shenna. Uh, next up, we are going to bring up uh, Christy Whitfield, uh, who is the acting director of the Department of Small and Local Business Development, who the uh, mayor just introduced a, a brief time ago. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning, Riggs Park. Good morning. So I am new to DSLBD, but I am not new to business or business development. And so on behalf of DSLBD and be an, as an entrepreneur, Seeing spaces like this start, you know, touch a special place in my heart. And I, I knew, I just met Miss V, but I look forward to having many, many more interactions here. I want to say that, you know, small business, you know, knits communities together. And I think this is a perfect example of a small business expanding into, you know, a bigger neighborhood. I mean, to be an important part next to Walmart, I think, sends the right message Sends the right message. You know, so I have a lot to learn in my new role, but I know one thing. We are here to support you. We are here to find ways to help you grow and prosper. And we want to be a partner with you in the next step, Culture Coffee 3, 4, 5, right? So Culture Coffee East the River, let's, make, you know, let's say it started. You started something here, Ms. V, and, and we, are here, we are here to support you and help make this the beginning of a, a dream bigger than I think anyone has ever imagined. So we look forward to celebrating your success. All right, thank you. All right. Now you got me out of the way and the mayor, all the officials. Now the person that you really, really want to hear from, uh, the, the person that we are celebrating today, the person who I think uh, made the impossible possible. Who I think a few years ago, you know, maybe the rest of us couldn't see it, but Ms. V has a vision beyond what most of us has, and, and you, you're not going to stop her. If you try to get in her way, you're going to get run over. Um, but I know that this has been a labor of love, Ms. V. I know the time schedule has changed, but you have pushed through, and today we are opening your new coffee shop. So I want to bring up one of my favorite people in this city, 
Veronica Cooper, Miss V. so happy. I worked so hard. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I appreciate everybody. Thank you for the support. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Just thank you. Thank everybody. Thank Paul. My store manager, he's been with me from day one. Down there. <laughs> Jay Hudson, my artist. Greta, the mayor. I'm going to be that like this for a minute. <laughs> but I just want to thank everybody for supporting me, supporting my shop down there. I just want to, please come. I need the support for real now. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a big thing and it's scary. I'm just telling you, I'm scared. <laughs> but I know I'm going to be all right because I got such good support, such good community. And I just thank you and just look out for all the good things that we do here the art, the community, spoken word. I look out for the children, a safe space for them and the seniors. So please just come help support me and I'll be all right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's cut that ribbon, Miss V. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. One, two, three. Miss Miss Miss. Miss.